what is an alpha? Is that just an arrogant ass or is that literally a leader, someone to be reckoned with, someone who shows up as confident and self-aware and just knows exactly what they want and they go after it? We're going to talk about that and more in today's episode. Welcome to the Power of Investing in People podcast. I am your hostess with the mostest, Shay Sparks. I am a fearless communicator and energetic catalyst, and I am just so excited to talk about this subject today. Recently, I had announced that I am doing a men's group coaching group called Spark Your Alpha. And in the meantime, I thought, you know, maybe I should put the word alpha out there into the social media universe onto Facebook. And I asked the question, what does the term alpha mean to you? And I got some really great answers. Some were uh, pretty fascinating. Some were funny. I got leader, protector, the responsible one, caretaker, self-aware, confident. Um, I got some that if how someone immediate if someone refers to themselves as alpha, they immediately think control and toxic. Interesting. Uh, leader of the pack, leader of nature, king, the first letter, um, the first letter of the Greek alphabet, the first letter of the military alphabet. And um, yeah, I also got controlling and dominant. Yeah, there is a plethora of information out there about the word alpha. And today... We're going to talk about how we can redefine what alpha means. So the way I use it in the Spark Your Alpha Men's Group Coaching is it's an acronym. And alpha to me stands for awareness, leadership, purpose, hope, and alignment. And awareness is not just awareness of yourself. It is definitely awareness of self. And we will spend, you know, weeks sometimes even months on that particular subject, but it's also awareness of opportunity. So often we go through life so focused on our goals that we don't see anything else besides that. And we miss opportunities along the way. We miss connections. We miss uh, job opportunities. We miss career opportunities. We miss personal opportunities, connections, personal connection opportunities. We just never know what we're going to miss when we have our blinders on and we're so focused, we have that tunnel vision focused on the goal. So part of the A, the first A, alpha in awareness is the opportunity along with self-awareness. What does self-awareness mean? Well, self-awareness is about capturing your thoughts. What is it that you're really saying to yourself? What is that inner negative dialogue that you have? What is your mindset? What are you thinking about most of the time? What are you thinking about for yourself most of the time? How does your fear show up? What is your mindset? What are you focusing on? What are you consuming? Those are all about self-awareness. So for me, it's really about being able to capture your thoughts and then reframing them, redirecting it, and rewiring your brain. And the, uh, like I said before, the awareness of opportunity then comes after we're awareness of ourselves. Because once we're awareness of opportunities, then we're aware of possibilities. What could be possible if this or that, or in general, what could be possible? And then the next letter in alpha is L for leader. And, you know, as people had mentioned on my Facebook post, that leader is automatically sometimes thought of when you think of the word alpha. Now, I will tell you for many years in all of the jobs I've ever had, I was so lucky, thankful, blessed to have people put me in leadership positions by naturally, 
Like I didn't seek them out. It just naturally fell into my lap. It naturally got brought up. In fact, I would have people come into the establishment. I would be working and they would ask me, oh, you're, you're the owner, right? And I would be like, no, I'm not the owner. Oh, you're not? And I would always wonder, I'd always be curious, like, why do they think I'm the owner? And I would shy away from being in leadership roles. And I know I'm not alone. I know there's other people who have been given opportunity to be a leader, and yet they shy away from it because of whatever thoughts that they're thinking, whatever mindset that they're having, whatever they're focusing on. And for me, what I was focusing on is I remember reading horoscopes. This is going to sound really stupid, so bear with me. I remember reading horoscopes when I was a kid, and I'm a Leo, if you can tell by the, the lion behind me. And uh, in most Leos that you read their characteristics, they say that they're egotistical, want to be on center stage, have to be the leader, have to be the center of attention. And I was like, okay, I don't want to be egotistical. I don't want to be the center of, have to be the center of attention. I am not going to be that kind of leader. So I'm going to minimize who I am. I'm going to minimize how I show up so that no one will think that I'm egotistical or no one will think that I need to be the center of attention. And what ended up happening is people were automatically just seeing me. They were seeing me, even though I wasn't seeing myself. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, many of you have had people see you as a leader, even though you didn't see yourself as one. And so we really deep dive discussing what leadership looks like. What is it that you want to bring to the table as a leader? Because like it or not, we are all leaders of our own lives. We don't have someone literally brushing our teeth for us or putting on our clothes or or dressing us. I mean, you know, you might if you're in the royal family, but for the most part we're all leaders of ourselves. So you are a leader. And after leader comes the P and alpha is purpose. Ah, uh, if you have been a fan of this show and I know uh, that you are, you have heard me say time and time again that when the student is ready, the teacher appears. And when the teacher is ready, the student appears. And purpose is along those lines of being at the teacher. Oftentimes, we, again, look at ourselves that we're not the teacher. We don't have anything of value to share with someone. And the truth is, we have opportunities that show up without our even realizing it, of without any effort. And uh, we get to share, we have the opportunity to share what we've been through, what we've overcome, how we did it, the lessons that we learned, so that that next generation, that next person can get a hand up out of what they've been going through that's very similar to what you went through. They can get an encouragement. They can have an inspiring story. They can think, you know, if they did it, so can I. Because I know if I did the work, then I know you can too. And the H in alpha brings me to hope. And with hope, we have several things under hope. We have the hope to me is what you hold on to, the aspirational hope when those bad days show up. We also talk about how fear shows up and stops you from focusing on that aspirational hope. And then we go into alignment. And alignment is one of those things that, honestly, it's a feeling. It's a noticing. It's the more self-aware that you become, the more that when you're in alignment, you feel it. You feel it in your bones. You feel it in your muscles. You feel it in your gut. You feel it in your heart. And it's because we have to go through that awareness piece in order to feel the alignment, in order to notice. We have to go through that awareness piece of our opportunities in order to notice that when other opportunities show up, the patterns that show up that are right in front of us that there is an alignment piece that is there. 
that we are literally walking in our purpose. So that is uh, what alpha means to me. It means awareness. It means leadership. It means purpose, hope, and alignment. And I have been on this journey for many years, and I am excited to have other people to share this journey with other people so that they can be on their own alpha journey. So if you enjoyed this episode, please go over to shaysparkspodcast.com. Leave me a message. You can leave me a voicemail right there on the website. You can type me out a message. I will read it on air. I will, maybe we can figure out how to play it on air and have your voice on here as well, because we want to hear from you. This, if you are interested in the Spark Your Alpha men's group coaching on starting in the beginning of April, then send me a message on that shaysparkspodcast.com and we will get you all set up to get started because I know that if I can do the hard work and take the steps that I needed to, to make sure that I was being self-aware, to step into my leadership role that was being handed to me that I was shying away from, to have purpose, to live life from hope and to find alignment and live in an aligned way, then I know that you can too. If you want to be a better father, husband, leader, we talk about mindset and how to effectively communicate. And we talk about managing your emotions and so many different things. So send me a message. Let's get started because together we can light this world on fire. So let's get fired up. Fired up.